I entered the time suggested by the verse from the Bible, chapter 1, verse 3. Nothing. I was running out of ideas. Then a sound caught my attention. Sliding statues, ancient mechanisms. You didn't get this kind of thing back in Idaho. Behind the statue, a flight of stairs was going up. Well, here goes. Let him go. Come in, Monsieur Stobart. We've been expecting you. Who are you? I am the preceptor of the temple. The chapter of Saint Stephen? Very good. Your deductions brought you here as we knew they would. My deductions also tell me you've got the key of Solomon. We did have it, briefly. But alas, it has been taken again. Cesaro. He attacked swiftly and with overwhelming force. My men fought bravely, but it was not enough. A few of us retreated here to hide. A few miserable survivors. Why is the key so important? You know of the armillary? Some? Cesaro has set the armillary in motion. He will use the key to release the dragon energy in an enormous burst which he will then harness to fulfill his own desires. So where's the armillary? Surely all we have to do is go there and turn the damn thing off. The whereabouts of the armillary have been long forgotten. Three ancient stones hold the secret to its location. Don't tell me. You lost them too? We have one stone. Show me. Bingo. I do believe we've got the other two. It is said that the three stones are linked. With the stones there is a chance. What can I do to help? We will send our best knight, chivalrous, tenacious, and unswerving in his determination to fight evil. Well, whoever this guy is, he's going to need a hand. That is for him to decide. Hi, guys. George, are you okay? Just about. I went down below Montfaucon. They led me to a secret Templar base. And Andre, you were right. The Templars did survive. Of course. The original St. Stephen chapter. But they must have been hundreds of years old. My little chickpea, it doesn't mean the people themselves were original. Oh. Trouble is, Cesaro beat me to it. He's got the key of Solomon. He's probably already on his way to the armillary. Did you find its location? No. If the Templars ever knew it, it's long been forgotten. They did give me another of the alphabet stones, though. Another clue? Not only that, they, uh, knighted me. What? Knighted, as in, made me a knight. Extraordinary. That's how it felt. Did they do it with a sword? Yep. Whole shebang. Arise, Sir George. What do you think, Nico? I'm speechless. I guess if you and me were married, that'd make you a lady. Very funny. So what should we call you? Your Highness? My liege? Oh, shucks. Let's not be formal. Lord Stobart of Idaho will do for now. The computer had been fixed. 
I had no reason to use the computer at the moment. The alphabet stone had a psi symbol on its surface. The stone had an omega symbol on its surface. I'd forgotten just how beautiful Nico was. Do you have any fresh ideas? I'm as stumped as you are, George. Have you noticed how Andre has changed lately? He's almost charming. Beatrice has addled his mind. You don't like Beatrice much, do you? She's a silly, over-made-up, underdressed little girl. Ouch. I just think Andre could do better for himself. That's all. Any idea what the symbols on the alphabet stones could mean? No. Even Andre's not able to help with this. It's so frustrating. We know the armillary's somewhere in Egypt. So maybe we should look at a map of Egypt. And you just happen to have one handy, I suppose. Well, while you were out getting knighted, we found a DVD filled with satellite maps. Cool! Here it is. So let's take a look at Egypt. We thought satellite maps would more closely represent the Egypt of thousands of years ago. There aren't any ley line maps by any chance. This is scientific fact, George. Looks like it needs bringing up to date. You can't deny the evidence, Andre. Just when you think you understand the way the world works. I'm always finding the same thing about women. Hey! Sorry, uh, where were we? Look! There's Northern Africa! Nico, look there. The Psi symbol looks like the Nile Delta. You're right, George. Let's have a closer look at that section. There was nothing I could see which matched the Alpha Stone. Nico, there's another match. The Omega symbol is just like that bend in the river. Let's have a closer look. I'm a bit stumped this time, George. Could be a dead end. No. Look at the arrangement of those ruins. They seem to be arranged in a cross, but not quite. They're like the points on the Alpha Stone. I wondered what they meant. That can't be right. One of them is missing. Exactly. The missing point is the location we're looking for. So, we just read the map reference. And we have the location of the armillary. Well done, George. Thanks, Andre. Come on, Nico. We have to stop Cesaro. One of us should be patrolling, you know. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Off you go, then. Oh, thanks. No, no, I mean, I'd love to help, but, uh, well, strong sunlight makes me blotchy. Well, use your sunblock, then. Well, that makes me blotchy, too. You're pathetic. How did you ever get to be a henchman? This is the place, all right. So, what's the plan? I thought it was your turn to think of one. Uh, I'm sure it was yours. I guess we'll just have to do what we always do. Wing it? I prefer the word improvise. That doesn't look like a proper entrance. Suzaro has tunneled his way into the temple. Guarded too. The direct approach is out. Again. We should scout out the rest of the area. Great idea! Did you bring the cloak of invisibility? Damn! I left it in a bag of forgetfulness. Nico! Did you hear something? No. I could have sworn. Yeah, you'd best go and look. Oh, right. Me? Why me? You're the one with the overactive imagination. Out of the two of us, who's scarier? Ah, but I also get sunburn, remember? Okay, okay, I'll do it. Oh, great. Now the guard's patrolling.
That was fun. Wasn't it? By the way, the guards asked me to thank you for waking him up. Oh, that? It was nothing. Hey, Nico? If Cesaro gets all that power, what do you think he'll be able to do? I don't know. I don't want him to get the chance to find out either. I wonder if we'll run into Petra, too. There's an expression on your face when you say that which I really don't like. Well, she is kind of... Think very carefully before you finish that sentence. Uh, a psychotic, scheming killer. Good. Just remember that. It was an exposed area of stonework where you could see the blocks beneath. George! What's that? Where? There, inscribed on that stone. She was right. Carvings were just visible on one of the stones. See the symbols? Look. The Nile Delta, the Alpha, and the Omega. We're on the right trail. I couldn't work any of the blocks loose with my bare hands. I was sort of expecting to excavate my way in. George, look! The last thing I expected was that the blocks were really a door. I didn't want to close it again. This was the end game. As we entered the tunnel, I wondered what was waiting for us. Tell me that wasn't the entrance ceiling behind us. But Nico, it was. Just tell me. Hey, lucky that wasn't the entrance ceiling behind us. Or we could be entombed here for eternity. Thanks, George. By the way, have you got the torch? The flashlight? No, I thought you had it. No, we swapped on the plane. But then we swapped again in the truck. Ah, uh -huh. but we swapped again on the walk. Nico. You're right. Let's just feel our way around. Hey, what's this? Feels nice. George. Right, sorry. Mon dieu! Look at all these guys! Must have been some party. Seems to be an easy place to die in. I wouldn't worry. Well, not yet, anyway. Give it another five minutes. How are we going to get out? We'll be okay. Hey, did I ever tell you about that one time in Syria? At length. Sometimes with diagrams. Yo! Where did he come from? I am Anubis, guardian of the temple. Anubis? But he was the god who guarded the underworld. Look at the decor. Says underworld to me. If you come to this place, then you seek power. Some kind of ancient hologram. But power may be bestowed only on those with the authority to use it. And the wisdom to bear its burden. You must pass two tests to prove that you are ready. In this chamber, you shall prove your authority to go onwards. And if we can't? It's a recording, George. Yeah, I know. Just trying to get a dialogue going here. I think you scared him off. Strange how he spoke in English. English? He spoke in perfect French. Hey, Nico? Another day, another ancient temple complex. Hey, Nico? Please don't start with your tales of daring do around the world, George. I am really not in the mood. What twists somebody up into a psycho like Petra? Who cares? You think maybe with psychiatric help, 
Maybe... She's a fully functional killer and she loves it. You didn't see her luggage. She carries tools to dismantle people. Well, that doesn't mean she's a bad person. Yes, it does. Now shut up about her. It was beautifully made. Massive, but beautifully made. The door was massive and sealed. It would have taken explosives to get through. Plenty of explosives. I inserted the stone with the Nile Delta marking. Yep, that goes there, sure enough. I inserted the stone with the Omega marking. Yep. That's where it belongs, all right. I inserted the fishy alpha stone. It went home with a satisfying click. Hey, Nico, we're on a roll. Just as well we had the symbols of authority. The temple priests must have carried them back when the early pharaohs used this place. No wonder people thought they were gods. That test had been almost too easy. I hated to think what might follow. We found ourselves in another chamber. It looked like one of those puzzles psychologists spring on kids. Except bigger. Fancy a game? You start. Ow! I wish he wouldn't do that. You have shown that you have the authority to reach this point. Now you must show that you have the wisdom to progress further. We're screwed then. Psst. Listen. Attend to my tale of Horus, the Law Keeper. Once, Horus walked in the land of men. By the banks of the Nile, he discovered a guardian of the watch with a murderer in his custody. A frightened witness to the crime, and the dead man's brother who was pressing the charge. The Guardian wished to take the criminal, the witness, and the victim's brother to the tribunal building that stood on the far bank. There is no ferryman here, the Guardian told Horus. How may I take this man to meet justice? Horus replied, I shall carry you across. Yet there are three of them, mighty Horus, said the Guardian. The dead man's brother is full of wrath and will surely strike down the accused if they are left together. And if the malefactor is even once left alone with the witness, he will surely put fear into the witness and a trial will found him. Thus, putting his faith in the wisdom of Horus, the Guardian took his leave. So Horus considered for a time. Then he carried his three charges across the river, back and forth, and in seven degrees carried them all across, so that the murderer and the witness were never once left together out of the presence of Horus. Nor yet were the brother and the murderer left together out of the presence of Horus. And the witness gave his evidence without fear or corruption, and justice was served. Thus, mark the wisdom of Horus. Your trial is to echo that wisdom. My tale is laid out, ready to be retold, degree by degree. Fail, and you will progress no further. But mark me. Deceit, improbity, or malfeasance are prohibited. What did he say? The guy is clearly a lawyer. It means no cheating. They will be punishable by death. Or a judge. And his associates shall be ejected from this place. Never again to be granted entrance.
Put the killer on Horace, please. The first crossing of the river. Second crossing of the river. Put the brother on Horace, please. The third crossing of the river. Put the killer on Horace, please. The fourth crossing of the river. Horace, please take the witness. of the river. The sixth crossing of the river. Put the killer on Horace, please. You've done it, George. Well, obviously. There's a glow up ahead. This could be it. What if we don't succeed? Come on, George. It's only the future of the planet. Yeah, that's right. No big deal. This is taking too long, Asval. You want it quick or you want it right? Both. There. Just one final turn. What are you waiting for? I am scared. That is why I am waiting. Turn it. There can be no going back. Turn it, Ostwald. In just 24 hours, the dragon energy will burst through. And I shall have. Kill them. Okay, boss. Whoa! Ow! Ouch, that hurt. Nico, how about that? He was a frail old man, George. Yeah, but he had a big stick. It's good to see you, Bruno. I like your timing. Ah, it was Nico. She takes days to pack. How did you find me? The St. Stephen chapter. Or what was left of him. They had the third stone, yes? Right. 
So this is what it's all been about, huh? It is most remarkable piece of engineering. Where's the sharp end? There is no sharp end. Both ends are very blunt. No, I mean, where does the energy come out? Ah, not here. The pulse can come anywhere in the world, on the dragon lights. I get it. And this thing tells you where? Precisely. So is it safe, uh, now? Oh, yes. Left alone, it will just power down. For another 12,000 years? No, I think forever. We must make sure another Sosaro doesn't come along. What now, George? How about taking that trip to New York we always promised ourselves? No, I meant, what do we do with Cesaro? Him? Oh, hand him over the cops, I guess. We've still got to find Petra. Get away from there. Problem solved, I believe. Hey, George, it's your favorite blonde. Shut up! My dear, what kept you? I had some loose ends to tie up. Never mind. Are here. Ostwald started. What should I do now? What do you mean? Kill them, of course. I wasn't talking to you. What? She was talking to me, Suzaro. No. Cannot be. The Grand Master. Hey, didn't we drop a church on you? So many familiar faces. I'm quite touched. Petra. Explain. I thought you were a lawyer. Not to you. Never trust a woman in a wig, Cesaro. It was Petra who found me trapped in the rubble. Petra who nursed me back from the edge of death. So, you were a spy all along. With friends like that, who needs enemies? Your plan shows an ingenuity that impresses even me. And now you will steal my work, just as it reaches fruition? You stole my organization. It seems only fair. I will not return obediently to your side. I did not expect you to. You were never one of the sheep, Suzao. You are always the wolf. I'm flattered. Don't be. It means I cannot use you. Forgive me, I have to go. Shame. But hey, if you're in the neighborhood, drop by. Petra, make the final adjustment, please. We spoke too soon, George. to stop us just turning the thing off again. Be my guest. It has done its well. The pulse will come, and nothing can stop it now. What will you do with us? Oh, I'm a reasonable man. I'll give you all the same chance George and Nico gave me when we last met. If anybody tries to follow us, I'll kill them in a heartbeat. What did he mean? The same chance we gave him. We didn't give him any chance at all. Exactly. Hey, Nico. Nico, I've kind of gone off, Petra. Seeing her cozying up to the Grand Master like that, that was just creepy. Glad you've seen the light, George. I can't believe the Grand Master's not dead. What do we have to do to that guy to make him take a hint? Bruno, you know him better than us. Do not be reminding me. Does he have any weaknesses? He is a cold, methodical planner which makes his rages all the more dangerous. He is vain, 
But he knows it and guards against the vanity being his downfall. Weaknesses, Bruno. We're looking for weaknesses. He has none. Malevolent, ruthless, capable of profound evil. He sounds like a CEO. He used to be one. Suzaro? He's dead. Flap, he was out for the count. Hey, Bruno! Bruno, assuming we get out of here. We must. How are we supposed to stop the Grand Master? I am no hero, George. You must find your own strategy. What do you make of all this weird science? Far in advance of anything we have. Strange that the Grand Master destroyed it. It must be worth billions. I think when he has the dragon power, he will have no need of money. You all right, George? Not sure. Are we dead yet? He is vandal, barbarian. Is there any way out of here? Oh, my head. Let's have a look around. Where is Flap? Under the rubble, I guess. We don't have time to find out. We have to get after the Grand Master right now. I guess you're right. I'll try and find a way out. You do that. And George? Yeah? If you see anything that looks like a bomb, stay away from it this time, okay? Gee, I'll try. I wasn't leaving the key of Solomon for anyone else to use. Hey, Nico! Hey, Bruno!
The bomb's broken through into the river puzzle room. We can get out this way. Nico, come on, we gotta hurry. Just a minute, George. Look at the sphere. The lines converge in the south of England. Where could that be? Glastonbury! Of course! The Tor must be the epicenter. We knew where we were heading next. All we had to do was get out of the temple. What place is this? That Anubis figure! Amazing! But mark me. Deceit, improbity, or malfeasance are prohibited. It looked a lot more amazing when it was working properly. I wonder how long before it fails altogether and the lights go out. Thanks! There's nothing so bad it couldn't get worse, huh? 
And if we get out, how do we get to Glastonbury? There's so little time. Don't worry about that. I've got a friend who can help. You have shown that you have the authority to proceed this far. Now you must show that you have the wisdom to progress further. And are punishable by death. George! What do you think you're doing? I'm getting you and Bruno out of here. Didn't you hear what Anubis said? If you cheat, it will... I know what will happen. There must be another way out of here. Maybe. But we won't find it quickly and we don't have time. Right now, the Grand Master is heading for Glastonbury. You know what'll happen if we don't stop him. For the love of God, George, you can't do this. Don't make it more difficult for me, please, Nico. Hold on. Where's Bruno? Bruno! Bruno, what are you doing? Exactly as you were, George, but without the pickering. Nobody needs to sacrifice themselves. Much responsibility for what has happened lies with me. I helped the Grand Master in his quest for power. I am not really ready for death, but perhaps I am ready for redemption. No! We won't let you! I hope you are more effectual against the Grand Master. You have defiled this temple. Yes, I have. It's only a recording. George, you will suffer the wrath of Anubis for your insolence. Let my friends go. They had no part of it. And you shall be cast out, never to enter the sacred place again. Yeah? We're not going without him. If you do not go, George, it will kill all of us. You must leave. Leave or die. I can't. I can't just... Leave or die. It's too late, George. If you die, then this really has all been for nothing, Stobart. I know, I just... Stop the Grand Master. Goodbye, Bruno. I know. We've got to go. Just... Just give me a minute, okay? Harry had taken my advice and invested in a proper plane at last, which was lucky. Nothing had prepared us for the conditions back in England. Well, let's have a little look-see where we are. Bullseye! My God! Hang on, fellas! It's gonna be a rough one! Glastonbury High Street, ladies and gentlemen! All change! All change! I don't remember ordering a taxi. Nice landing, Harry. Thanks, George. And you know what? 
I took your advice and had it insured. I say, if it isn't our American friend. Oh, uh, hello, Colonel. Don't be shy, dear boy. I owe you a drink. You do? Damn right. Things looked up the minute we met. Lisa! Here you are, my dear. You're Yank. Hello, George. Hello, Melissa. Lissy told me how you saved her from that damned hippie. Cheer me up no end. Haven't been home since. Got a room in the pub. Lissy works here, too. So, what are you having? Colonel, I'd love to, but if you don't mind, I have to save the world. Fair enough. From the look of it, it needs saving today. How about you? You're talking my language, mate. Just a half, mind. Ah, a colonial. Say hello to Melissa. She's all heart. Yeah, I'll bet she is. <laughs> Hi, Melissa. Hello, Harry. Tell me, dear boy, are you married? I'm not, but I'm open to offers. Good show. Come on, Nico. We have to stop the Grand Master. Hey, Nico? I'll say one thing about Gilligan Airlines. They get better every time you fly with them. Second time in England, and I still haven't been into a pub. If we don't hurry up, there won't be any more pubs, George. Harry's got the right idea. Let's get this over with, and then I'll buy you a beer.
Come on, Nico. It's a bit of a drop, but we can get over this way. George, you stop the Grandmaster. I'll deal with this bitch. Come to me. I am here, your servant! For God's sake, stop! This is madness! The energy of the dragon is upon us! I can see everything! All of history! All creation! The future! You're gonna kill us all! With the power, I shall live forever! Perhaps being a knight wasn't such a good career move after all. There was an impression in the stone plinth that held the sword. It was the same shape as the Key of Solomon. Touching it had no effect. Whoa! The key seemed to have fused into the stone plinth. There was no way to remove it now. Arise, Sir George.
You know, after a show like that, you are going to be one major pain in the ass. Nico! I thought you were dead. Can you still not tell a wig from the real thing? But I saw the dragon kill you. Not me. Petra. She knocked me out. I've only just come round. So, where did she go? Looks like she just disappeared. Huh? What are you doing? Watch. Oh. I thought... A hand was going to come out of the water and catch the sword? Yeah. Get real, George. I guess... it's over then. <laughs>